Welcome to the second symposium of financial inclusion global initiative here in Cairo, Egypt, where regulators, policymakers, and digital financial service experts gather to share experiences to help achieving United Nations sustainable development goals through universal financial inclusion. What I hope people will take away from it is bring all the different perspectives together. So you have people from the industry, you have people from the regulation, the telecom, the financial service providers. You also have representatives from countries have a very, very different experience. And I think that exchange of knowledge of good practices, what has worked, not worked, is really the huge benefit of these events. The initiative is led by the World Bank Group, Committee on Payments and Market Infrastructure, and the International Telecommunication Union and is supported by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Fiji's slogan depicts simply its comprehensive agenda, which is three by three by three. Uh, Fiji is about three by three by three, so we have three partners, ITU, the World Bank, and CPMI. Uh, we have three implementation countries, Egypt, Mexico, and China. And we have three working groups, uh, working group on electronic payment acceptance, a working group on digital identi uh, identifiers or digital ID, and a working group on security infrastructure and trust that's led by the ITU. We have a number of actually regulators, policymakers, and both sectors working very uh, closely. I think it is the Fiji Symposium as one of the excellent platform for everybody working together. For the first time on this year's agenda, there is a hackathon organized for startups to provide ideas that enable more financial inclusion solutions. A step to involve a huge part of the Egyptian society in digital finance for daily needs. Digital financial services needs to be better than cash for that poor person. It needs to provide an additional value to them that cash cannot bring. Uh, and I think for that to happen, it needs to be cheaper than cash, um, more, ex more, uh, more accessible, um, and, and link them to other types of opportunities within the digital economy that cash alone cannot provide them. There's a an incredible amount of innovation in the financial sector, as everyone knows. And what we would like to see is that that innovation reaches the poor. We decided to concentrate on the bottom two layers, which is the poor and very poor, and start dealing with them by um, building a, a, a technology platform that gives the enough tools to the financial domain in order to start to tailor packages that could suit uh, those people. I see a huge potential if governments could convince people, give incentives to people to move these accounts, to move these payments to an account and do them electronically. I think that the first priority is that is needed that the, the central banks and uh, telecom regulators start working together on this issue. Uh, you need to change the regulation for people to start to use mobile Government rules and services need to give a lot of incentives to, to um, uh, citizens to start to use e-services. Our studies show that if any untapped segment use one of these digital financial services and he gains the trust in this digital financial service, he will use it again. So first word is trust and uh, awareness in the, at the consumer level. It won't be long before you are able to purchase your daily grocery from a nearby local shop using your mobile and your mobile only. A universal concept of digital finance would provide an easier and more secured system for each day payment. Fiji is gathering all stakeholders to make sure that financial security and sustainable development are achievable and accessible for each individual around the world.